So guys, in this video, we'll see how to insert a new node at the front of the linked list. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. So this is the node class we are using. It has an integer i that stores the data. We have a variable of type node next which stores the link to the next node. And I'm going to add two more constructors here. I'll say node int i set this dot i is equals to i and I'll set next to null. I'll take another constructor takes int i and node n and it sets this dot i is equals to i and next is equals to n okay and close the class all right so we'll use the constructor in the code where we insert a new node at the front of the linked list so we are going to write a function that takes the head of the linked list okay the value to be inserted creates a new node adds it to the front of the linked list and returns the updated head so suppose this is my public static void main okay I'll take a node head, I'll set it to null to indicate empty linked list and this will be the head of my linked list. I'm going to insert new values using this head and suppose I take values int values is equals to 18, 9, 6, 54 and 12. Okay. I'll insert these values of this array one by one into the head at the front and I'm going to use a for loop to iterate through each of these values. So this is a for each loop. It picks up each value of this array one by one, referencing with i. So you say head is equals to insert at front. This is the name of a method. Okay. And I'll pass the head and the value to be inserted, which is i in this case. And finally, when we come here, after this for loop, we have all these values inserted into the linked list denoted by this head one by one in the front. I have static node. Since this is returning the head, so the return type of this method is going to be node and insert at front. Okay, it takes the head and an integer i. Okay. So I'm going to remove this because I'm short of space. So remember these values 18, 9, 6, 54 and 12. So I'll insert and I will finally return the head. So in my main, the head is null indicating the list is empty. So I'm going to have two cases here. If my head is null, okay, else if my head is not null, okay, if my list is not empty, in both the cases, I return the updated head. So if my head is null indicating empty list, else if the head is not null, not empty. So basically head is equals to new node. It takes the value i and the next of, his, of this head is supposed to be null because this is going to be the only node in a linked list. So I call this constructor. It takes the value of i, okay, which is passed in this method. So this i comes here. The i of this node is set. Okay, and the next is set to null. So that's why using this constructor and we return the value of head. Okay, so this is the case when the head is null. So let's just complete the code and we'll dry run and see and how this works out. In the case, the head is not null, that is the list is not empty. I'm going to say node, new node is equals to new node. And I'm going to use this constructor. I'll pass the value of i and the next as well because this has to be behind the head. So this nodes next is going to be the current head. So I'm going to pass it I and the current head. Okay. So this new nodes next is pointing to head, but our head is still at the old head. So this new node is the new head. So we say head is equals to new node. And when we use equals to with objects of classes, the reference gets copied. That is the reference of this is copied into a reference of this. That is wherever this new node is pointing to, head is going to point to that location. And finally, we return the head. So this is the code we use to insert the value at the front of the linked list. Okay. Handling the case of head is null and handling the case if head is not null. So let's just dry run and see and how this works out. So we have a head. This is the head in the main. 
and we have a head pointer that comes into this method. We'll take note of that as well. So you can say this is your main, okay, and this is your insert, okay. And these are the values of i that have that have to be inserted one by one, 18, 9, 6, 50, 4, 12. So let's see how this goes. So the first value of i that goes into the method is 18, and your head is pointing to null to begin with. Okay. So we come inside this method. So you have head inside insert as head to null and the value of i as 18. Okay. You check head is equals to null. It's true because head is pointing to null. The head in the main was null. You pass the first value of i and head. Head was pointing to null. Head in the method also points to null. This is true. Head is equals to new node. As I've told before, when you use the new keyword, you get a new memory location and head is going to point to that new memory location. The value of i in that location is i, which is passed into this method 18 and the next is going to be null. So you can say you get a new memory location i being 18 and the next being null. Okay. And this head in the insert now points to this location. Okay. This is when you are here after this statement. You come outside of this if else you come here and you have to return this head. That's why we are returning the head because head in the main is pointing to null and head in the insert is pointing to this new location. So it is when you return this value of head back in the main, wherever this location is pointing to, the head in the main is also going to point to that location. So then head points to this location. Okay. So if you were not returning the head, the head in the main would keep pointing to null and would not point to this new memory location. Okay. So after you return from this method, you will lose reference to these and your new head in the main is going to point to this new location. The next of which is null. Okay. So we have inserted the value i18. We insert the value i9 now. So you come inside this insert method. Okay. With head pointing to this location. Okay. Because this head is being sent from the main and you have the value of i as 9. Head is equal to null is false in this case because head is pointing to, pointing to a memory location. This is not null. Okay. This is false. You come in the else part. You say node new node is equals to new node. When you are using new keyword, you get your own memory location. So this is new node. It has the value of i passed here, which is 9. And it, it has the next. Let's see where is this next is pointing to. So we are using the constructor that takes i and head. And if you remember the constructor we had, that we had here, this is the next for this new node. Okay. So the next of this new node is going to point to this location, which is the head. So the next of this new node is going to point to head. Okay. So this is your new node created. And you can say your new node is this. Okay. Then you say your head is new node. So your head in the insert now points to the new node. Okay. Again, you're not returning it. You are just here. You completed this statement. So you come out of the if else you are here. It is when you return that the reference of this gets copied back into the head in the main. So the head in the main after you return points to this head. So head points here. Okay. Okay. And since you come out of this method, okay, you lose reference to all the local variables in this. So you lose this, you lose this. So your new head in the main now points to i is equals to 9. The next of this is 18 and the next of this is 9. The next value to be inserted is 6. Inside the insert you get head and i pointing to i is 6. Head is pointing to head in the main. So head is pointing here. You check for head equals to null. Head is pointing to this, this location. This is a memory location, not null. This is false. You come in the else part. You say node new node is equals to new node. You are using the new keyword. You get a new location. Takes the value of i, okay, which is in this case 6, okay, and sets the next of this new node to head. Head is pointing here. So next points here, okay, and this is your new node. In this statement, you say head is equals to new node. So your head in the insert points to this new node location. So head in your insert points in this location. You come out of the if else, you come here. Okay, it is when you return, the head in the insert gets copied to the head in the main. So the head in the main points here. Okay. 
and you come out of this method so you lose reference to this and this so you see the process that's happening if my head was null i created a new head if my head was not null i create a new node i set the next of this new node to head and i return the new head as well because the head in the main has to be updated to stay at the front of the list that is to be pointing to the first node in the list the next value is 54 we repeat the same process we come in this method with head pointing to this location okay and your value of i is 54 head is null is goes to false because this head is pointing here which is a memory location not null you come in the else part you say node new node is equals to new node you get a new node okay the value of i here is 54 okay and the next of this is pointing to head then you say head is equals to new node head is, is equals to new node so this head in the insert now points to new node you return head so wherever this is pointing head is pointing to the same location now so this head points here and since you come out of this method you lose reference to all the local variables here so your new head is pointing here all right the last value is 12 okay so you come inside this method with head in the insert pointing to this location okay so your head points here you have the value of i as 12 okay so i is 12 okay you check head is equal to null head is pointing here this is the location not null false you come in the else part you create a new node with i so i is 12 you create a new node i is 12 okay and set the next to head so you set the next of this to head which is pointing here okay then you say head is equal to new node so your, this is your new node okay i'm saying n and for new node show space so this head is pointing to new node this head is pointing to this location okay and when you return wherever this is pointing to head in the main is going to point to that so head in the main now points to this location and when you come out of this method okay when you go back to the main you lose reference to all the local variables so you lose reference to all of this so head point to this location so the final link list that you get is your head is pointing to 12 then you have uh, 54 then you have 6 you have 9 you have 18 and the next of this is none okay so this is your final link list so this is how you insert a new node at the front of the link list we'll just run the code and see the results okay and we'll move on to then inserting at the end of the link list somewhere in the middle of the link list all right so just running the code that we just wrote this is the node class that we are using the two constructors that i wrote and i've added a default constructor as well a method to print the list it takes the head and prints the list and uh, then this method inserted front that takes the head and the value to be inserted at the front so this is the method that we wrote and discussed in the main we have the set of values the same as we discussed the head is set to null initially printing the list when the head is null then inserting each of these values in the list okay and we update the head okay as we discussed and then we print the list again so let's see what we get for the output so when the list is null you don't get anything for the output because the list is empty and then when you insert each of these values in the front you get this list so let me quickly add one more value i'll say head insert at front head and maybe say mm, 23 all right i'll print this list again okay so you'll see 23 at the front of this list so i hope this video was helpful so please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thank you for watching